I'm sorry. I reserve. Reserves. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentlewoman from Michigan, Ms. Stevens. The gentleman from Michigan is recognized for two minutes. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong opposition to H.R. 4468, a bill that would undermine the Envi Environmental Protection Agency's ability to prohibit the EB EPA from implementing emissions regulations and their ability to protect air quality and our climate. I want to thank our ranking member, Mr. Pallone, and of course my great colleague, uh, Congresswoman Dingell from the state of Michigan. The auto industry relies on the EPA and their emission standards to successfully compete. When the GOP shut down the federal government in 2018, our automakers could not roll new automobiles off the line because they needed the EPA to do the testing. This is dangerous legislation, and particularly because the EPA serves as a critical partner to our automakers during this very transformative time. No fear mongering. People have choice, they will continue to have choice, and they will work with their dealers. But people do not have the choice of the air they breathe. The United States is poised through our manufacturing base to lead the world in innovation, safety, and clean technology. Not only does HR 44 Four six eight jeopardize public health and the environment. It hurts our economy and global competitiveness. Let us not cede technology to China. Let us create and develop and manufacture it here in the United States of America. So for this reason, at the appropriate time, I will offer a motion to recommit this bill back to committee. If the House rules permitted, I would have offered the motion with an important amendment to this bill. My amendment would strike the language that blocks EPA regulations based on the limited availability of new motor vehicles. This amendment would restore the EPA's authority and responsibility to set science-based standards that protect our health and climate while supporting American innovation and leadership in the automotive and manufacturing sector. My amendment would ensure... General ladies. Time has yield the gentlewoman another 30 seconds. My amendment would ensure the EPA can continue to drive progress in reducing vehicle emissions and advancing clean transportation technology. I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of, I, of my amendment into the record. Without objection. And ma Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the motion to recommit. Gentleman from New Jersey um, reserves.